think uh, due to time, I'll focus on two major issues eh, in terms of Zambia's uh, COVID-19 response and then the role of scientific research in responding to cancer and vaccines development. Your Excellencies, first let me give uh, gratitude to uh, her own, the, the, Her Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of Zambia, Madam Esther Chagayalungu, who has been a co-chair of this very, very important uh, meeting. The response to coronavirus, COVID-19 pandemic in Zambia, has been led by His Excellency President Ed Galungu for the past one year. The first two cases of COVID-19 in Zambia were confirmed on 18th March 2020. As of uh, yesterday, April, uh, 27th April 2021, we had recorded 91,484 cases and 1,249 deaths. People have died from coronavirus with 89,743 who have recovered. And two, two weeks ago, we launched the COVID-19 vaccination program in Zambia using the COVID-19 AstraZeneca vaccine under the COVAX facility. And in the past two weeks so far, we have vaccinated almost 22,000 people. In Zambia, our aspiration is attainment of universal health coverage using a primary health care approach. And therefore, even as we respond to COVID-19 pandemic, our focus is on creating resilience in our healthcare system to protect our people from other public health concerns, infectious diseases like HIV, AIDS, malaria, TB, non-communicable diseases, and of course, reproductive health, maternal, neonatal, child, adolescent health and nutritional issues. Furthermore, in acknowledging that sustainable economic development requires a healthy and productive human capital base, government has set an agenda to promote public health security to ensure that our people and the socioeconomic development of our country is progressively insulated from various public health threats. Your Excellencies, distinguished uh, participants, aligned to the strategic plan of the establishment of our Zambia National Public Health Institute, the ZNHPI, which has been in charge of public health security and has been very, very instrumental in making sure that we contain the COVID-19 pandemic in Zambia. We have had the first wave from September up to, from July up to September last year, first wave of the COVID pandemic. And we're just coming out of the second wave from January up to March, April uh, this year. Your Excellencies, let me acknowledge our partnership with MEC Foundation and working with the First Lady of Zambia, Excellency, Mrs. Ed Esther Lungu. Her office has been such that the Minister of Health and their collaborate and we have identified medical doctors for training based on identified skills gaps and these are then supported through the MEC Foundation. Our needs are informed by our Human Resources for Health Strategic Plan and the National Training Operational Plan. We have focused on oncology, that's the cancer services, cardiology, endocrinology, especially diabetes management, fertility and sexual reproductive health, respiratory medicine. We have since implemented in vitro fertilization program to assist our women with fertility problems. To date, 85 Zambian specialists have been trained in various fields and the health and social economic benefits to our country have been immense. I would therefore like to encourage my colleague ministers to take advantage of this strategic partnership with MEC Foundation so that together we can achieve sustainable development on quality education for all, faster gender equality, and ensure good health and well-being for all our people in the spirit of leaving no one behind. And lastly, let me talk about the role of scientific research in responding to cancer and vaccines development. What we've seen is that due to patent rights issues, vaccines are not manufactured in Africa, although the disease burden is in Africa. Whether you talk about COVID-19, infectious diseases, we have malaria, which has been with us for many, many years. But we know that uh, manufacturing vaccines is costly. Manufacturing chemotherapy drugs is very, very costly. Essential antibiotics is very, very costly. And there's also the issue of patent rights that are held by companies in the Western or Asian world. We therefore support World Trade Organization's views on patent rights that they should be waived so that there should be local manufacture of these vaccines in the countries that are bearing the burden of the various infectious diseases. We need to locally manufacture drugs, antibiotics, for all these uh, diseases that are killing our people. And we are happy to note that while Africa bears the burden of uh, malaria, uh, malaria disease, which has killed millions of people before, the malaria vaccine is also on site and it has shown efficacy of 77%. We therefore appeal that those companies holding patent rights should do something very humanitarian by making sure that African countries can manufacture these vaccines for malaria, COVID-19, essential antibiotics, and also 
chemotherapy drugs. With those few words, I wish to thank you and wish to convey our gratitude to Zambia for hosting this meeting virtually. Thank you so much.